helped build a church years ago in San Pablo, near the Colombian border on the, on the Amazon. And it was a colony of lepers. Have you ever seen a leper? Have you ever smelt a leper? If I brought a leper of the worst sort, there's about three different kinds of leprosy. If I brought a leper of the worst sort, you'd smell him before he got out of the parking lot into this building. If he walked in here, he would be a mass of rotting flesh. Body fluid, pus and blood. When he said all of us are like one who is unclean, this is possible to reference here. And let's say that all you find people say, well, we must do something about this. So you go to Kansas City, to the most exclusive shop, and you buy the most fine, some finest silk you can find. And you take that silk, and you bring it back, and you wrap that man head to toe in that fine white silk, and you say, bravo, look what we've done. We've saved the day. We've made him presentable. But that silk only lies on that flesh for a few seconds. And the corruption of that man's body begins to bleed through that fine silk. And that silk becomes as corrupt as the man himself. That is why all our good works are like filthy rags before God. Because we ourselves, prior to conversion have a heart of stone, a God-hating heart, a heart of evil, born in sin, given towards sin. That is the testimony of Scripture. Some of you, in your 60s, 70s, you heard preaching like this all the time when you were children. But now it seems the new generations to follow cannot bear with truth. They would rather be deceived and think well of themselves. But a man who will not accept his illness cannot be healed. A man who does not have all his hopes crushed with regard to his own self-righteousness, merit and worth cannot turn to Christ. We must realize that we are destitute and there is only one Savior and His name is Jesus.